Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am changing an alternator on this Ford Transit. It's 2.2 model, 2006. Um, so I'm going to make a video of that, show you how easy it is to uh, change your alternator. The only technical thing about this really is when you put the belts back on because rather than having tensioners on this motor, it's got what's called a stretchy belt system. So you have to kind of stretch the belts back over the pulley. Makes things a bit, bit interesting. But yeah, that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to relocate underneath and pull the boost pipe off and then I'm going to be pulling the alternator off. Let's do it. Alright, we're under the motor now. Alternator's here. It's held on by four bolts. One, two, three, and then one over there. Oh no, it's not one over there. So it's held on by three bolts. Boost pipe's in the way, so we've got to get that off. Where'd my little screwdriver go? I'm going to whip this boost pipe. I've already undone the pipe fitting at the top, so theoretically. Pull this off, get that off. Bit of access. Right, that's the boost pipe off. Get this nice bit of room to work in. What we got is we've got a cap. I've got to take the main power lead off. The cap on the back of the alternator. Plugs at the top. Push that down. Right, let's get this get this 13 mil undone, which is on here. Always remember before you do this job as well to take your battery terminal off. Also there'll be sparks flying out of everywhere. Boom, that out of the way. I can't seem to get that plug off the alternator. Um. Oh, there it goes. Thank you. Well, that's the second plug. You see the two wires now off the alternator. We've got the main power terminal, which is held on by a 13. And this push clip connector. Literally just push the pin and it unhooks and then you pull it off the alternator. Now the alternator now is completely disconnected. Next, we've got to undo the bolts, which is securing it to the block, which is these three thirteens. These bolts. Cool. That's tight. These bolts. Cool. That's tight. Sneak out the bottom one we'll after. By the looks of it, it's got to come out the top. Pull that bolt out. Last but not least, one bolt up the top. Goes. It's out the top. It's all three bolts out now. Alternator is loose. Can we get it out the bottom? Answer is no. So we've got to fish it out from up the top. There you go. One dead alternator. This one's the bearings gone in it. Seems completely solid. But that's a unit. Three bolt type. Bolts to the front of the block. So what we're gonna do is get our new one out, which is which is here. It's that new recon. Always use good quality parts when actually doing this job. Um, you can always normally tell the good quality parts as well because they normally come with surcharge. So Lucas, Bosch, D 
Delco, anything like that. If it's got a surcharge, normally it's a reconditioned unit. It's a good way to tell whether you've got a good part. If you buy an alternator and it doesn't have a surcharge, normally it's because it's a cheaper, cheaper quality alternator that's been built in another country, however, and it's made from, well, rubbish bits, basically. Um, so stick with the better quality stuff. So now let's get this one back in. Right, time to put the alternator in. Now what I've done is there's a bit of foam around the top connector. I've left that on to protect it as I fish it back into the engine bay so I don't snap the connector off. Now basically what we've got to do, fish this in. Don't drop it. So back into its position. Just sit it there. Make sure it does stay there. first bolt in which is located behind the OM power steering pipe next bolt in there up the top sure none of the wires are trapped behind it nip that's good 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 tighten the bolts up now Pull that bit of foam off that connector, which is there, off. And we plug the main connector back into the top, make sure it goes all the way home. You hear a click. Next, main power line. There's already a nut on this one, so we've got to whip the nut off. We'll get the main power line back on. Washer. Well, when you tighten these up, you literally just a little nip like that. That's it. You have the lock washer which holds them in place. Now that's they're all wired up. Now it's just basically we've got to re put the belts on, and this is this stretchy belt system. So, right, let's get the belts. You see. Okay. Okay, right, we've got to pull the belts off now. Now normally I would just cut them, but because we're making a video, I'm going to do it the proper way. Just grab your belt, pull it off, and then turn the engine. Like so. With the spanner. Take it out of gear, Lee. I think it's in gear. Yeah. Now there you go. And then the belt spins round, and off she comes. Simple as. Always make sure you turn the engine clockwise because it's not good to spin it back the other way because your back all the tension is off on the chain, and you can jump keep on the chain. Right? Can you give me the wider belt, Lee, please? Gear on there, on there. So, so, spanner one. This one.
Right, we've levered the old belts on now, so they're on. One, two. All sorted, all good. Now all we've got to do, connect the battery up, put the boost pipe back on, and we're done. Right, so that's how you do an alternator change on the transit. And now, um, yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope the video has been useful. If it has, please like and subscribe. Speak to you soon.